uh, which is uh, useful to you uh, when you go for the most of the competitive exams. Here we are trying to explain the examples part by part. And we are uh, starting with the basic level and uh, slowly we are going for advanced level. Okay, you try to follow the parts one by one so that uh, you can cover the complete concept easily. And here we are going for the formulas, important formulas which are required for you to deal with profit and loss. Okay, when you go for the profit and loss, okay, when the item has been purchased, okay, what are the amount we are investing while purchasing an item or buying an item? That cost is called as a cost price. A buying price or cost price, both are same. In our examples, when I say cost price, the cost price is nothing but the total investment on, the, on an item while purchasing it. That is also called as a buying price or that is called as a cost price. When item has been sold out, okay, what are the amount we are getting that uh, is called as a selling price? Always the difference between cost price and selling price will be loss or profit. When can I say there is a loss? If the cost price is more than selling price, then there is a loss. If selling price is more than cost price, then there will be a profit. And always we are going to calculate cost cost price, selling price. Based on the cost price and selling price, we are going to calculate the loss or profit. Once we are getting the loss or profit, then we need to look into loss percentage or profit percentage. The loss percentage or profit percentage will be calculated based on the cost price only. Here we have given the formulas to you to calculate the gain and loss. The gain will be difference between selling price and cost price and loss will be difference between cost price and selling price. Now we are going to find out some formulas to find out gain percentage and loss percentage. Those are useful to you while calculating gain percentage and loss percentage. Okay, the total gain percentage is nothing but the total gain what you are achieving by the cost price into 100. It will give you the gain percentage. The loss percentage will be the total loss by the cost price into 100. It gives the loss percentage. Okay, suppose the item has been purchased for the 1000, cost price is 1000. The cost price is 1000, selling price is 500. Then the cost price is greater than selling price. There is a loss. Then the loss is cost price minus selling price. Total it is uh, 500 rupees. And last percentage I want to find out. According to the formula, loss is 500 by cost price is 1000 into 100. That will be equivalent to 50% loss. Suppose there is a gain, uh, we are taking cost price is 1000 and uh, selling price is 1500 and here selling price is greater than cost price so that there is a gain. Now I need to find out the gain percentage, before going to the gain percentage we need to find out the gain, how much gain we got it. Gain is equal to 1000 
uh, total it is uh, 500 is the gain 1500 minus 1000 which is going to be fine it is the gain for us when there is a gain of 500 I need to find out the gain percentage the gain percentage is equal to total gain is 500 by 1000 is the cost price into 100 then here also 50% gain we got it here we can make use of formulas to find out the loss percentage and gain percentage but once you practice the formulas you can go for the shortcuts also in the coming parts we can discuss the shortcuts how to find out loss percentage and how to find out gain percentage easily initially we are going for the formulas and then we will discuss about the shortcuts which are useful to you to do the examples with a faster rate when you go for the competitive exams and next we need to find out the selling price when the cost price and gain percentage has been given or finding the selling price when the loss percentage and cost price has been given here the CP that is nothing but sell the cost price and the gain percentage has been given then you can find out the selling price that is equal to cost price into 100 plus gain by 100 when the cost price and last percentage has been given we can find out the selling price okay, the selling price is cost price into 100 minus last by 100 and next we need to find out the cost price when selling price and the gain percentage has been given or we can find out the cost price when selling price and loss percentage has been given and next two formulas will find out the cost price when selling price has been given to you okay when the CP SP and the gain percent has been taken the cost price is equal to 100 by 100 plus gain percentage into SP when there is a need of finding cost price when selling price and gain percentage has been given if the selling price and loss percentage has been given we can find out the cost price by using a formula 100 by 100 minus loss percentage into selling price these are the some of the formulas required to you to solve the problems related to the profit and loss now let us get into the examples which are useful to you to have the better understanding of profit and loss for our competitive exams please look into this example the cost price of an item is thousand and it was sold out for 1200 then find uh, profit percentage in this example the cost price given the cost price given is 1000 and selling price given is 1200 your selling price is greater than cost price so there is a gain once there is a gain we need to find out the gain percentage or profit percentage we can calculate the gain like this here simply gain is equal to selling price minus cost price the selling price minus cost price is uh, 1200 minus 1000 that is equal to 200 the total profit is 200 we got 200 profit now we need to find out the 200 is how much percentage of the thousand well, because we got the profit based on the cost price only we are comparing the complete profit with the cost price only that is the reason we need to calculate gain percentage with respect to the cost percentage or cost price only uh, now for this we need to find out the total gain percentage it can be done in two ways the first way is going to be using the formula in the first mechanism we are going for the formula in the formula already I have been the gain percentage formula now the profit percentage or gain percentage is like this here 
total gain gain is 200 by cost price is 1000 and 100 then we can uh, get it as a 20 percentage okay, this is by using the formula we can uh, complete the calculation of gain percentage or profit percentage in the second mechanism just we can go for a second mechanism always whatever the thousand rupees we are investing that is a hundred percent investment for us now while comparing this total gain with the cost price total 200 increase now how much is the percentage increase for this we can say 200 by 1000 into 100 then we can get it as 20% profit either we can remember the formulas we can apply the values to the formulas and get the result otherwise when the thousand rupees has been invested as a cost price okay, compared to thousand how much gain we got it okay, based on that we can calculate the gain percentage or uh, profit percentage also this is a first example and then we are going for another example where we are going to look into the loss observe the following question cost price on item is thousand and it was sold out for 800 then find the loss percentage okay, in this example the cost price the total cost price is uh, thousand selling price is 800 and the cost price is greater than selling price then there is a loss and how much loss we got it the cost price minus selling price gives the loss 1000 minus 800 which is equal to 200 200 is the loss now we can apply the formula or we can make use of shortcut also simple shortcut now when I try to apply the formula the last percentage I want to find out okay, the total loss is 200 by cost price is 1000 into 100 now here total we are getting 20 percent loss it is the first mechanism the second mechanism simple so simple it is thousand is the investment for us which is hundred percent investment and we got a loss based on this uh, price only now 200 is the total loss 200 is how much percentage in thousand for this 200 by thousand into hundred okay now it is uh, almost equivalent to 20 percent like this we can calculate the profit percentage or uh, loss percentage when the cost price has been given to you selling price has been given to you when the cost price and selling price both have been given we can calculate the profit or loss based on that we can find out gain percentage or uh, loss percentage